Welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. This video is going to be an eye-opening video for those who wanted to know about different job roles available in piping engineering. So that you will be able to choose your favorite job role to pursue your career further. Because every person should have a passion, should have an interest, only then he will be able to pursue their career successfully. So this video will give you a clarity about which particular job you have to choose within piping engineering to pursue your career further. So we will be discussing about five different designations available in piping engineering. And we will also talk about four different factors such as qualification, responsibilities, opportunities and growth. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So the first one I would like to bring here is piping designer designation. So let's understand what is piping designers are all about. Piping designers are considered to be an expert in handling tools and they will have proficient idea about how to use the tools from uh, basic to an advanced. Moreover, they will also have a technical background such as how to place the supports, how to read PNID and how to do a preliminary routing. However, they will take some support from the seniors and the superiors but they will have a strong knowledge about the basic preparation of the design. So this is the fair idea about the responsibilities of the piping designers basically. So what are the qualifications ex uh, expected? Uh, piping designers shall have an ITI background or diploma background or B background all also. So this is about the qualification. So what about an opportunities? So for opportunities, I would like to give a rating out of 10. So for piping designers, I would give 10 out of 10 because as far as job opportunities are concerned, piping designers has more opportunities compared to all other job opportunities. Now let's talk about the growth of a designer. Piping designer shall start as a junior designer, then he can move to the senior designer, then he will be moved to the principal designer, then he can become a lead designer. So this is the path of growth for piping designers. All companies follow certain protocol and certain uh, procedures in order to elevate a person from one level to another level. Definitely when you upskill or move from one level to another level, you have to have a good knowledge and experience and you have to have a proven record. So with this, let me go to the second designation. The second designation I would like to address is piping stress engineer. So what is piping stress engineer is all about. See piping stress engineers are those who analyze the piping system in order to uh, remove the high stresses in order to ensure the flexibilities are maintained within the piping system so that it will not incur any stress related failures in the piping system while during the operation. Basically stress engineers do a pipe stress analysis of the entire system to ensure the safety of the piping system. So this is the fair uh, understanding about the pipe stress analysis. They will be primarily working in software such as CSERS and uh, ROW2. There are different countries uses different softwares. CSER2 is predominantly used globally actually. There are companies uses different softwares based on the economical reasons. But this is how the stress engineers generally works actually. So what is the qualification requires actually? BE mechanical engineering is the primary qualification required for piping stress engineer. And what are the opportunities available? As far as opportunities are concerned in piping in, uh, engineering industries basically, stress engineers has less opportunities because that's uh, from the, the, the factual reason because the if you take 1000 lines and uh, the number of uh, critical lines will be one third of the 1000 lines. So that's a fair number, fair factual reason that I'm uh, giving you. So as far as the opportunity wise, stress engineers ha has always a less opportunities. So I would like to give a rating of six out of 10 for pipe stress engineering opportunities. And about growth, similar to designer, even in stress, you can start as a junior engineer, then you become an engineer, then you become a senior engineer, then you can become a principal engineer and then you can become a lead engineer. Now let's talk about a third designation. The third designation I would like to highlight is piping project engineers. 
what are piping project engineers has to do with actually see in piping engineering we have different stages the first stage is designing second stage is construction and third stage is it goes to the client for commissioning but during this process there are lots of coordinations required between a client and design uh, team and as well as construction team and further the preparation for the execution in advance before the construction so all this commercial and economical and technical matters out of the core designing and core construction activities has to be managed by project engineers so project engineers basically are into planning the entire projects and executing the entire projects and to uh, ensure the right communication gone to the client and to the respective disciplines so that the expectation of the clients are transferred to the particular design team so that they will be able to deliver and there will be a lot of amb ambiguities during the projects so project engineers discuss with clients and as well as discipline to ensure that there is no gap between the expectation and the delivery of the projects so they do a major role and major support in order to ensure that the projects are delivered on time and not only that the constructions are done on time because especially when it comes to construction you have to have the material in advance so how to manage the design before completing the design how to order the material all these plannings will be done by project engineers and they would ensure that the complete projects right from the design to constructions are completed within the given deadline so for this a huge amount of effort has to be done so this is the fire idea about project engineering so what is the qualification required they can either from the mechanical engineering background or from the chemical engineering background however they should have an understanding about how the entire process works in the oil and gas especially in piping engineering industries basically for opportunities i would like to give a rating of 7 out of 10 that's because Project. So when it comes to opportunities, I would like to give a rating of 7 out of 10. That's because project engineers are generally going to be less in any organization because they are going to handle the entire team. Let's say the team has 100 people. The project engineers will be of uh, 4 or 5 people who will, who will be handling the entire 100 team, um, uh, the personnel of the team basically. So the numbers are going to be less for project engineers. However, if the number of projects are more you will have more project engineers because each projects are handled by individual project engineers so this is about the opportunities now let's talk about the growth project engineers has a strong and consistent growth in terms of long-term perspective the reason why I'm telling you is a project engineer can become a CEO of a company or he can become a project manager of a particular project but if you come from the technical background, you have a limitation only up to the lead engineer or you can become up to the HOD. But being a project engineer, you can travel from one, the bottom level to the topmost level of the management because it's basically you are handling both the technical and as well as the commercial and the uh, economical factors also. So that's how the project engineers has a more opportunity in terms of growth, I'm saying actually. So this is about the project engineering. Now without wasting time, let's go to the fourth one, which is piping construction engineers. So what does piping construction engineers basically does? See piping construction engineers prepares the project for execution and construction and commissioning. So what they have to do, they have to ensure whether the materials that are required for construction are received or not. If it is not received, they have to address to the consent team and bring the material, check the drawing, um, um, prepare the fabrication and install the items and hand over to the client as a package submission. So this is the fair understanding about piping construction engineers. So basically the piping construction roles are a field oriented role. There are office roles but those are partially. These roles are basically a field oriented role. That's why most of the engineers uh, won't prefer it. but this is a pure technical job don't think that construction is a non-technical construction is a pure technical you will have to handle lot of technical issues which is uh, pertaining to design or pertaining to the understanding or the last minute changes due to the actual field condition or due to any vendors mistakes or 
So basically, a piping construction engineer should have an equivalent knowledge of a piping design engineer so that he will be able to complete the project without any bigger issues. If you don't understand the technicalities, that issue will be exaggerated into a different level which will highlight and bring trouble to every other teams which are involved right from the beginning. So as far as the qualifications are concerned, the piping construction engineer should have a B mechanical engineering background because this is core mechanical engineering activity. Now let's talk about the opportunities. For opportunities, I would like to give a rating of 8 out of 10. That's because there are lots of requirements for piping construction engineers. There are n number of projects that are going around the world. Indeed, the requirements for piping construction engineers are huge. That's why I have arrived this number. Now let's talk about the growth. As I said, piping construction engineering is a core technical engineering. They would also get a privilege to aware about different disciplines because they are at the execution part. So during execution, they will be able to understand how the instrumentation engineering works because they can see the implementation directly, how the electrical part works because they can see the implementation directly. Likewise, they can see how the civil works, they can see how the equipments are installed, what kind of building requirements, what is the inspection uh, requirements and they also get to read these design documents every now and then so they understand the overall design. So as a whole, the construction engineers also has a more probability to become a project managers and then they can become a further level according to the upscaling. So the first level that I could see for a construction engineer so they can immediately become a project management if they can acquire different knowledges of different disciplines which we don't have for other disciplines such as piping designers or stress which they mostly work in one particular area but only for piping construction engineers they get to have this privilege of understanding different field because they are on the field. So I could see as far as the growth wise, they can go up to project manager in a short span and from project manager, the growth is immense. You cannot stop them. So either they can start their own company or they can become a, a, a manager of a particular company where which handles the entire construction programs basically. So because construction has huge opportunities and construction has good profit also. So this is about the growth of piping construction engineer. Now let's talk about the last designation which is my favorite designation which is piping design engineering. <clears throat> so let's understand what is piping design engineering is all about. So before understanding piping design engineering, so we have to understand what is the main role of them basically. See, uh, in order to bring any plant like any process plant, you have to do some study. And this study has to be transferred into a design which will be further transferred to the drawings and these drawings will be further sent to construction for execution right these stages requires immense uh, calculations immense uh, design efforts because you have to meet your design with respect to the client requirement international standards local standards and you have to see the accessibility operability lot many factors are there so piping design engineer role is to understand the scope requirement from the client and deliver the piping infrastructure which is reliable, which is operable, which is accessible enough so that the drawings will be produced according to their design and it will be sent to construction for further execution. So this is the highlight of the piping design engineering. So let's understand about the qualification. Piping design engineer should have a BE mechanical engineering qualification as a minimum qualification to get into this particular field. With diploma, uh, you may not be able to become a piping design engineer. If you are a diploma candidate, I would strongly advise you to do the BE in mechanical engineering through distance or uh, by the convenient way that you can do it. Even you can go to the uh, take a day scholar um, uh, course also that will give a lot more valuation for your certifications. So this is the basic requirements and uh, the diploma candidates uh, has one more um, uh, what do you call a kind of a growth to become a piping design engineer is if they have an experience of nearly 10, 15 years in piping design and have worked a couple of projects as a design engineers and they can become a piping design engineers but however if you are a fresher and start want to start your career in piping design engineer 
then you have to have a BE mechanical engineering. So this is about the qualification. Now let's talk about the opportunities. For opportunities, I would give uh, 9 out of 10. That's because piping design engineers demands are more compared to uh, the rest of the opportunities that I've said. But however, piping designer role is far more higher because if you look at a team actually one particular design engineer will be handling a whole team of 10 15 designers so designer numbers are more because the number of drawings that has to be produced are basically done from the designers piping design engineers are only going to oversee the expectation of the client and ensure that it meets the international standards local specification client specifications so they does the design backgrounds so this is about the opportunities now let's talk about the growth as i said piping design engineering is a core technical job so you can start your uh, career as a junior engineer then you will become an associate engineer then you will become a senior engineer and then you'll move on to the lead engineer and for piping design engineers has an uh, like a privilege to move to the hod also so this is one such privilege that i could see the piping design engineers who has a pure technical background can elevate from a junior engineer to the HOD level. However, if they add uh, during the their career growth, if they add the multidisciplinary knowledge such as how construction works, how the other discipline works and, uh, and uh, how they have to uh, support uh, for the other disciplines and also gather some information about the other disciplines so that they will have the overall idea about the entire execution of the process plan. In that case, they will also be uh, has an opportunity uh, like a privilege to move to the project engineering side. So once you move to the project engineering, from there you can move to the different levels such as project managers or uh, the manager of a particular company or you can go move to the CEO level according to your caliber and according to your skill set that are available. So piping design engineers can decide whether they wanted to um, pursue their career technically or they wanted to pursue their career in the management side. If they want to pursue their career technically, they can become uh, from junior engineer to HOD. If they want to become a project manager or uh, a top uh, management person in any organization, parallelly they have to acquire the knowledge of how the entire business works, how the entire management works, what are the management skills that are required, how to uh, improve the, the, the team uh, uh, performance and how uh, they can bring the benefits to the company by reducing some cost actually. So these kind of knowledge if they can acquire, they can pursue the management side career. But this will be after certain years of your technical knowledge. You cannot immediately pursue right from the beginning actually. You have to have at least uh, 10 years of strong design background and uh, strong um, design backgrounds of other discipline only then you will get an opportunity so you at least have two different streams of opportunities to pursue so this is about the overall uh, the growth prospects and the responsibilities and the qualifications required and opportunities of five different designations that i have said in this video i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra